I Big wonder if struggle. Max has got a problem. Uh, something broke, drive, sh drive shot or something. Uh. Yeah, we're just seeing him now running over those sausage curves. Yes. Yeah. Verstappen out of the car, out of the garage, and I dare say a man to be avoided for the next few minutes until he calms down. Esteban Ocon out of the final corner he comes, was 13th, improves to go 7th fastest. Big jump up the timing charts for Esteban Ocon. Stoffel van Dorn continues on his way. Fernando Alonso is out of the bottom five, pushes Hartley down into that bottom five. He'll start at the back of the grid anyway. Can van Dorn get himself out of the bottom five? No, he can't. He improves, but he lost time in the final sector and didn't make up what he needed to. Marcus Ericsson next across the line goes 15th. He's on the cusp and his teammate Charles. Charles Leclerc is out there and can still put him back down into the bottom five as Hulkenberg goes ninth fastest and Charles Leclerc goes tenth fastest and for the 16th time this season out qualifies his teammate as Kevin Magnussen puts his car into the top ten. And Alonso now in 15th and uh, under pressure. But Sergei Sorokin just fails to beat Fernando Alonso. 16th fastest as Brendan Hartley goes above Fernando Alonso, gets through in the Q2. And Fernando Alonso's last US Grand Prix in Formula One is going to end in qualifying with a Q1 knockout. Carlos Sainz goes eighth fastest. Pierre Gasly goes seventh fastest for Honda, which means after a very dramatic final few laps, Stoffel van Dorn is the slowest driver once again. Marcus Ericsson can't get out of Q1, neither can Lance Stroll or Sergei Sorokin at Williams and Fernando Alonso as well. These are the final flying laps uh, that will count as Magnussen makes his way towards the final corner. Doesn't want to run too wide and collect any of those curbs. Nice exit from him, short dash to the line. Magnussen stays in 12th place. He's out in qualifying, can't get through to Q3 and won't clinch the Haas season head-to-head -head as Ocon, eight fastest, moves up. Nico Hulkenberg at risk, at risk from his teammate Carlos Sainz as Romain Grosjean settles in seventh place. Charles Leclerc and Hulkenberg still to come. Hulkenberg can't improve on his time, but Carlos Sainz is not going particularly well through the middle sector in the other Renault. On board with Charles Leclerc now. He'll be driving at Ferrari next season, racing here in America for the first time. Did drive in free practice for Sauber last year and is, at the moment, the sixth fastest car on the track as Sebastian Vettel puts in the quickest middle sector we've seen so far. Sergio Perez looks to be pretty safe, stays down in ninth place. Here's Carlos Sainz to cross the line and by two milliseconds is out qualified by his teammate Nico Hülkenberg and misses out on Q3. Pierre Gasly, Brendan Hartley didn't set a lap time in the Toro Rosso's. They are going to go to the back of the grid. And Max Verstappen didn't appear in Q2 because of that suspension damage from running over the curbs during the first part of qualifying. Lewis Hamilton, the provisional pole sitter, starting his final flying lap of this session. So we'll focus on him for the time being. DRS slams shut. There's into turn one he goes. Always a danger that your tyres and your brakes could be cold, but no lock-up on this occasion. No, it looked uh, just fine through there, didn't it? Nobody's done a, a purple sector yet through this first part of that. They've not all gone through, of course. But uh, Raikkonen has found a little bit more speed. He's a tenth up on Hamilton, but we know that Ferrari is better in the first part of the lap. Hamilton already Whoa. stretching his legs and going so wide there. That's got to be the widest we've seen through Turn 9. Manages to get back onto the track, OK, and into Turn 11 he goes, and the long back straight and now ahead of him. Purple sector for Sebastian Vettel through the first sector. He's two tenths up on everybody else. He's going to take a three-place grid drop, but Vettel improving so far. And Raikkonen very fast through the middle sector as well. He had got more pace in that Ferrari. This is going to be so close between the top four. Hamilton, by a few hundreds, goes even quicker himself. It's all looking OK for Lewis Hamilton so far. His teammate Valtteri Bottas, though, will be the first to cross the line. Can Bottas go back to the top of the charts? No, he can't. Second place for him, and he's on the front row at the moment by less than a tenth of a second. Now. We're on board with Lewis Hamilton as Kimi Raikkonen goes on to provisional pole. Raikkonen is the man they've all got to chase, and Hamilton's lost a 
bit of time on this middle sector. So now, towards the end of the lap we go, Hamilton's back on pole again. Three times in three years, Lewis Hamilton is on pole, but could Sebastian Vettel beat him here in qualifying? We shall see. It's a new lap record for Lewis Hamilton as Sebastian Vettel now comes round the final corner. He's won this Grand Prix before. Where's he start tomorrow? Vettel on the front row, down three places, will start fifth as Mercedes celebrate then a Lewis Hamilton pole position, but it will be Kimi Raikkonen alongside him starting on the faster tyre, and that is going to be one dash not to miss into turn one. It's six hundredths to Vettel, P2. Beautiful work, beautiful work. P2, Sebastian, P2. How much did we miss it? 60,000. Oh. Very, very small margins. And Sebastian not overly happy that he was on the receiving end there. For Kimi Raikkonen, first front row starts in the United States since Indianapolis 2005.